Hey guys, it is Jared Mo here with another video. So today we're looking at the Adoraxia feedback that I posted um, a few weeks ago, I believe. Um, we'll just go over some of the answers, uh, if I can answer any of the queries or anything like that, or agree with them, and so on. Yeah, so we'll um, have a look. Um, first thing I found was quite interesting. Um, do you currently play? 32% no, 68% yes, um, but then in the next question, if no, how long has it been since you did, then 60% say I currently play, so I don't know what 8% of you are doing voting something else, anyway, um, not too many, uh, um, were the short amount of time, a lot of them have been quite a while, uh, 3 to 6 months or over 6 months, now if we look at the, if no, what caused you to leave, um, so there was a couple where it's just like MacBook or just don't have the time. Um, so reset, yeah, never will leave, never, not applicable, all that kind of stuff. Um, in theory, we should have about 30 answers here, yeah. Hang on. So this question, I'm um, sorry, if not. Uh, it's mostly just um, slow progress, uh, drop rates, um, couple with a MacBook client not working, um, and then obviously uh, issues that have arose or arisen um, because of the low player base. Um, I mean, what I say to all those, I'm looking into ways we can uh, improve drop rates. Um, I don't want to do it all in one update and then kind of regret it, so I'm trying to slowly work at it, um, which have you, you might have seen from a couple of the recent updates which are buffing the ways you can boost your overall drop rate. Um, I think that's probably the best way um, to go about that without uh, potentially risking just destroying the economy um, or what's left of the already meh economy. So drop rates are going to be edited, they're just going to be um, slowly kind of whittled away uh, and hopefully over time we can kind of improve those um, because I know that there's a big concern about that and with our server how it currently is I don't necessarily think that changing drop rates um, by 10, 20, even 30 percent uh, will affect too much because a lot of our community is Ironman and realistically, uh, we're just kind of helping those guys out. Uh, and yeah, having them at the same as RS3 is a little bit shit, but that's how we wanted to start it. Um, that's, sorry, that's how we wanted to start, and that's how um, we can progress in the future and see how we can kind of improve those slowly. Um, but obviously, I am very aware, and hopefully we can fix that up soon. Um, I was hoping that these little drop rate benefits um, from items and voting and donating and stuff would help um, but clearly uh, not as much as needed so I think the next tackle will be editing the rates specifically so the uh, theme here um, what do you like the most it's pretty much all PVM um, uh, nice quality updates server in general uh, Ryan's bald head even I think that's yeah. I think that's the general gist. A lot of people enjoy the quality. Um, obviously, when you consider the drop rates in this question, I think a lot of people here might also like them um, because they like the uh, authenticity. Uh, but yeah, most of this is just PVM, the I man. Uh, the Iron Man experience. Um, there's a, a couple of there's a couple of good answers here. So skilling contracts, non-combat achievements, community events such as hide and seek, penguin scavenger hunts, um, socializing with others. I enjoy small collective currencies as well as fragments from skilling to use towards outfit, um, loyalty points, and daily, weekly um, events and challenges and stuff like that, um, and being able to earn Adaraxia dollars through voting and other means. 
uh, and the quality of life changes that make the gameplay mechanics exchanges more streamlined and convenient. So this guy is basically loving the server, I guess. Uh, first of all, the launcher opens extremely quick. I don't think I've ever played a server that loads up as quick as this one does. That is true. Um, I am often amazed by how quickly you can lock onto the game um, just by opening the client that quickly. Uh, good stuff. Um, a few people said that actually. Uh, good stuff. Answers, uh, answering time and stuff like that. They have to wait quite a while for other servers. Um, good UI. Yeah, we've really improved the UI, um, the, especially the teleport interface. Um, I'm very happy with that change. I think it was much needed uh, compared to just the dialogue. Uh, I think it looks really clean and it makes it look a bit more like a private server, professional private server that is. Bosses, the way they work, how inclusive the developers are. Were. So, developer, you can uh, drop off the S armor. Um, Armar's work on all of the bosses has been insane. He tries to make it as close to RuneScape 3 as possible um, to our the close of our ability because legacy content, obviously. Um, but I mean, with the latest Solok release, holy shit, like it's spot on pretty much. Um, your dedication to. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't think we're ever gonna. Well, obviously, there will be a point where Adaraxia eventually does um, end, uh, but I don't think it's ever going to be like an overnight decision like that. Um, yeah, heaps of different PVM content, content as long as Reaper tasks. Uh, everything's super accurate. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the overall thing here is PVM, um, NXT, the likely well, likeliness the similarities uh, with RS3 um, but it, yeah that's I, I like these answers um, made us feel made me feel good um, that's kind of what we we've been searching for which is that kind of RS3 emulation um, PVM wise but I understand that well, I mean off this question there's some improvements we can make to that to, without um, ruining that emulation uh, being drop rates mostly. Which part of Adorexia did do you like the least? When I wrote this question, I knew what the answer would be. Um, Perkscape, that was the first answer. Um, not surprising. Skilling feels slow to compare to combat. Um, I don't really see that. I, I actually, on Iron Chode, I actually have actually found uh, skilling to be much quicker in combat, um, or at least less grindy. I found combat to be quite frustrating to do, really. Um, but that just might be because I prefer skilling. The amount of daily players, um, obviously, there's only so much we can do about that. I obviously know that it isn't something that's controllable, or I'm really surprised more people don't play it. I mean, me too, man. Me too. Um, there isn't really any content I don't like, so I suppose I just don't like that we don't have a lot of, uh, a lot outside of the main daily players. I mean, yeah, that's one of my least favorite parts of Adaraxia as well. Um, I do feel like Armar um, and the development team, uh, Multi, Clutch and the other st uh, staff, we've built something pretty excellent over the last six months or so. Um, Adaraxia has always been pretty good, but I think over the last six months especially, we've um, built something that is insanely good. Um, and I'm really happy with how Adaraxia is going at the moment. Um, the only thing that needs to catch up is the uh, attention it's getting from people around the RSP S community. Um, obviously there's some aspects that I can improve on um, to help with that but really I really just want um, orga organic traffic uh, because organic traffic is best. Um, no abilities. Oh, you, so you don't like there's no abilities. Um, I'm in game mode. Yeah. Uh, I think that is a gripe with a lot of people as well. Um, Adaraxia has an excellent Iron Man experience, which is why pretty much everyone plays an Iron Man um, on their ult or what. Um, but that does kind of uh, downgrade the uh, regular account um, experience, because there's not as many people uh, interacting with the community, uh, not interacting with the community, uh, impacting the economy. Um, because the Iron Man obviously don't, so it's 
much harder to find items and people that are interested in buying your items if most people are Iron Man. Another lack of players. Mid and early game bossing updates for new and casual players. That's interesting. Um, I don't really see many um, things about that actually. I'm not too sure um, on what mid or early game bosses or updates we could make so I'm happy to hear obviously I don't know who you are but if you're watching us I'm happy to hear your suggestions um, so be sure to slam them in the uh, discord drop rates, drop rates, outdated revision um, yeah I mean in theory sure uh, we're like five revisions behind I think um, the only thing is with that is uh, this will be the only revision upgrade we've ever done without uh, a Java um, client to um, take from, as far as I'm aware. I, I don't understand it personally, but um, apparently it is. I think it's much easier to dump stuff from the Java uh, compared to the NXT. So I think um, I'm going to take quite a while to do this revision update. Um, but I mean, it, it is is it is it, it, Jesus. It is in the works. Um, it's just going to be about patience. Events. You don't like the events? A bit vague. Um, did I? Did we release events after this? I'm not sure. A low player count. Expenses of dying. Just don't die then. Shut down account wiped. Nothing we can do about that now. Uh, everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, skilling, death mechanics, what about skilling, what about death mechanics? Um, obviously death mechanics can be improved, I think, if we were to... I've seen a couple suggestions recently about um, bringing in the RS3 system, happy to do that, uh, it'll just take a bit of time. Um, obviously all this stuff can be added, uh, you just got to be patient and not suggest it six times. Um, starting out can be a bit underwhelming, underwhelming, Jesus, improvements on guides would be nicer, yeah, okay, so that's what Hopeful um, is trying to do at the moment um, and me with a couple of things that I understand social PVM aspect is mostly gone most bosses have been made solo now um, yeah but I I don't think that's anything I can change I think that's mostly on you guys um, if you don't want to do bosses with other people is that your fault or my fault or for the server's fault um, because uh, it's not my fault if you want to go solo krill and take all the loot for yourself. Um, obviously, there are group bosses and Solak coming in. Uh, that's a group boss. Uh, Angel of Death is a group boss, but you know what everyone's trying to do. Um, as soon as Solak came out, it was who can get the first solo kill. Um, and I'm sure as soon as there's more of a meta, um, people will just be doing solo because it's easier. They don't have to worry about anyone else. Um, I've been playing a fair bit of Diablo in the new season, and I think it's much more enjoyable to play solo because then you don't have to worry about anyone else, you don't have to wait for anyone else. Bossing is hard, I mean you'll get there. Uh, it takes a bit of time. Abilities aren't an option, I guess pre-EOC, but I just love abilities also. Items are really hard to sell in G since there's only 8 slots. Yeah, I um, saw a video on a server that is similar to ours, and I'm sure you all know, um, and they actually had like different GE slots, like a custom GE interface, which was pretty interesting. Um, I've always been talking about the trading post, um, so I'm sure this will be amended eventually. The economy, I would say, some items are impossible to get, unless you get luck of the RNG guilds, another drop rate. Uh, mostly it's every man for himself, I don't like how to stag. can enter events or PVM stuff and just completely outclass everyone. So. Yeah, um, no support for NA players. There's like seven, most of the staff at NA. Anyhow, um, I do agree uh, with this point um, that people who are very progressed can kind of just win these PVM competitions. But there's other competitions running um, that you can win. And obviously, those players who win the uh, PVM competitions, they have been playing for thousands of hours. Um, and if you were to play for thousands of hours, you can also compete. Um, but that'll just take time, commitment. Uh, and when you get there, you'll be one of these players. And I'm sure you won't be complaining then because you put in the effort. The community course game is full of people who eat paint. Small player base. Only having one goal left to do. I mean. 
Yeah, okay. The random nerfing of content that takes forever to get, like, Blowpipe and Hex Hunter Bow makes it feel like grinding out what did the best isn't worth it because it'll just be nerfed right after you get it. I mean, I think that's a bit of a personal issue that you've probably suffered from after getting the Blowpipe or the Hex Hunter Bow that it was nerfed right after. Um, but nerfs come when they are needed. Um, the Hex Hunter Bow being the best in slot weapon everywhere, even if they weren't weak to the Hex Hunter Bow, is not the right move. Um, and I'm sure you would agree with that if you didn't have one. But we never nerf pointlessly. Um, it's, it's always got a reason behind it, it's always a lot of thought. Um, and yeah, most of the time it's not that substantial. The Hex Hunter Bow is still very good, the Blowpipe is still very good. Realism mode doesn't feel rewarding enough for it to be worth playing. Uh, I don't think modes have anything to do with rewarding. Uh, if you want to play realism, you can play realism. Um, you get a slight uh, draw rate bonus, um, but realistically, the modes are all whichever experience rate you'd rather play. Um, if you don't want to play 1x, don't play 1x. No EOF, OF, low damage output, EOF will come. Another one of those, just wait. The amount of gold you have to pay for bosses, portals, and stuff, it should be free. I mean, I can I can see um, why that is a, a bit of a point. Um, but we do need some sort of gold sinks in the game, um, and I think this is fair. You can get to the bosses in the normal ways, just like RS3. Um, it'll just take longer. Um, I'm sure we can potentially look into ways we can reduce these costs, but they will never be taken away, and it would never be free. The grind for drops feels almost equivalent, if not more than RS3. Yeah, I know, another drop one. Their system is absolutely frustrating, really pushes me off. Okay. Seems to be a lot about the death system. I think that's um, a good point because I'm. I think that would be worth looking into. The economy, root players, uh, just report them. Uh, I don't think we've received a player report in about a year, so. If you see rude players, report them. We have those features for a reason. D zone isn't as helpful, but if input lag performance is rough, shots can be. I'd love to hear your opinion on this if you want to message me. Um, or if you'd rather stay anonymous, um, just create a throwaway account or something and message me. Uh, but I'm not sure what you really mean uh, or how we could improve this. Uh, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Father, true. Uh, lack of players, money making, uh, working on improving this. Uh, end game grinding, 200 mil XP or bossing for one item drop. No live Mac client is coming. Enjoy the game if had some cooperative based special events activities, perhaps a mini game where players fight against each other in a trivia dialogue, something like a quiz. Yeah, I think that could be interesting, um, kind of incorporating some team events uh, n instead of solo events. That could be quite cool. I'm happy to, once again, happy to hear ideas. Obviously, this is one idea, the trivia, um, but let me know if you have any idea other ones. I don't have any gripes with the content. The community is just toxic and intense, unforgiving for any sort of behavior they don't personally like, and I like to bully people who take advantage of things they didn't first. Um, okay, uh, I don't like this, if you take advantage of things. Um, I mean, if I go on about it now, I'm going to rant for about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to, um, but I do think that everyone in this server, uh, to an extent, takes the absolute fucking piss um, when it comes to taking advantage of bugged content or overpowered content. Um, I think the people who bully you for taking advantage of things that they didn't first isn't because they didn't do it first, it's because you did it and didn't report it. Um, I have been very angry at a circumstance recently uh, related to dwarf traders where you can unlimitedly thieve if you have the absolute perfect um, combo of stuff. Uh, and it has only been reported after about three or four people have received 200 mil uh, thieving from it which is absolutely fucked, especially considering some of the people in that group are veterans. Um, but I, once again, 
up to the rude question, uh, just report them. Um, if you feel that you're being unjustly treated, we can look into this. And I know um, I'm not I'm not completely stupid. I know that a couple of these people would be staff. Please report them. I personally hate how the legacy stuff looks visually. I hate the brown color scheme and everything about it. Then change the EOC interfaces. Uh, but other than that, I wish progression was a bit quicker. Keep in mind, I haven't been around for a minute now, so I'm sure. Yeah, uh, you can change to the EOC color scheme. Um, and progression, I'm looking into pre like quick making the uh, early game experience a bit quicker because that is the worst part. Uh, Hunter skill, yeah, terrible skill. Just like the fact that you go to great lengths to make sure everything is one-on-one -one with our three constant features is what makes you stand out. If people want pure... Huh? I dislike the fact that you go to great lengths to make sure everything is one-to-one -one with RS3. Okay, so you don't like the fact that it's RS3. Custom features is what makes you stand out. If people wanted pure legacy combat RS3, you'd have a thousand players. But that's good. Some of the more recent changes have been more aligned with what I think is the correct path on how to gain. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, I'm not too sure what you mean by here, I think it's a bit contradictory. I think this might mean that if RS3 was to be pure legacy, they'd have a thousand players. But a thousand players for us is great. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get a couple more custom features that make it more RSPSE. The amount of players in the community, I hope, yeah. Drop rates, drop rates. Drop rates, money making. Cool. That's a big question, fucking hell. Uh, which content release are you most anticipating? Roadmap, too hard to keep up on. Uh, don't want to have too many uh, unreached expectations. Uh, returning player, Chroming Perk, I don't know what that is. Uh, Sark, maybe raids. Raids could be cool, but I don't see any use for the rewards from raids. ED3. What? Don't we have ED3? I think he means God Wars 3. Uh, revision. Content for casual players. Yep. Let's turn that. Uh, once again, like all. This is basically like. Surely to suggest it. Uh, Saren spells, cool. So I can tell us have both of those. Uh, threshold abilities, yeah, that could be cool. I uh, had a couple ideas for that, um, but I want to think on them a bit longer. Geod God Wars Dungeon 3, Article Lake, or just God Wars Dungeon 3, or the World Boss. Oh, yeah, World Boss, I wanted to introduce. Revision update, raid, Solark, God Wars 3, God Wars 3, UFS, I think that's the Staff of Armadillo, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, yeah, so it's basically just like all God Wars Dungeon 3, um, Essence of Finality, and Revision Update, more bosses, more minigames, yeah. Uh, what is the most disappointing? Um, so I said this is different to this one. Um, this is which content hasn't met your expectations. Not enough events during EST. Well, I've put this in the player's hands now, which was the intention of the event token. So. Hopefully that can change. Donate the zone. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's a bit of a bait, but I don't think those things are as good as they used to be. Um, especially like the the mining. Uh, Blue right rock's good, but I think you're better off just going straight to the rock you need. Yeah, I feel this, but th that's going to happen over time. People are going to leave. It's going to change. Um, in a year, the community will be completely different, and you might like it then. Voting websites, uh, I think we have this fixed now. Um, we've been looking into it, or Node's been looking into it a lot. Um, how long has it been going? 24 minutes, fuck it. Oh, how many do I have left? Oh dear. Um, yeah. Some small stuff like EOF. Yeah, I mean, that's. I'm gonna. Uh, I've highlighted what is important in your thing. Soon TM. Um, it will come. Uh, stuff like that takes time. Uh, this kind of the issue is with this kind of thing. Um, I'll give you a bit of a lowdown. So the only people currently developing Ataraxia is me and Armor. 
this is out of my ability. Uh, this is in Armar's ability. Um, right now, Armar is working on other things, uh, but I'm sure when he's finished with those, we can get this kind of thing. Um, it will just take a bit of time because he's only one man. Not disappointed anything. Thank you very much. GIM. Yeah, I agree. Constant complaining about drop rates when it's all RNG. I assume this is RSPS. So I think this guy's saying the fact that they're complaining is disappointing, but he likes the drop rates, I'm not too sure. Um, once again, like I'd love to hear these because I'm not entirely sure what content we could add that is like this. Um, drop rates. I mean, yeah, because there was a drop every fucking 20 kills. Base drop rates. Hey Necros, how you doing? Um, the arc is difficult to add, but yes, I understand. Expensive dying, yep, getting banned for breaking any in-game rules. Often never breaking any in-game rules. Well, I know who you are, and you did definitely break in-game rules. Um, what got me to stop playing was lack of GP, market being stale, you had your hoarders on GP. Pay to win back in the day with perks. Um, yeah, I think that's always going to be the case until we uh, kind of improve drop rates, improve kind of some of the community things and bring back some more players. I think ideally um, our community would excel with about 80 to 100 players consistently. <clears throat> and right now I, I'd say we have like 40, 50, so we're, we're getting there. Um, um, obviously I've put this out in August, I think. Um, it's now September, but July, August is always the quietest time in RuneScape private servers. Uh, so, our player base will pick up um, coming up to Christmas, don't worry. Can be done solo. I love the group 8. Well, this, this is similar to what I was saying. Um, people love, love, say they want group bossing, but um, the first opportunity they get, they go solo. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think um, Rots was asked to be made solo for a very long time because it's not particularly hard. Uh, Virago was just a time-based one, and Age of Angel of Death I've never done it, so I can't really comment. Um, but I don't imagine any of these are necessarily easy solo. Um, so if you can do them solo, I think that's, that's up to you. And then if you want to do it in a group of relatively new PVMers, I think that's where you can do it in a group. No. Well, I hope you fix that. Uh, lack of players. Lack of players. 50% of staff efforts should be in recruitment and advertising. Logging in to see 14 people online is not a good thing, especially for a new player. They'd be like, well, this place is empty and probably peace out and not come back, but if they see 40, 50... Yeah, I mean, I agree, um, obviously. I don't think staff efforts should be recruitment and advertising. Um, unless you mean, like, me, but... Like, moderators and supports. Um, I don't think they have anything to do with recruitment and advertising. I'm looking into adding a new system for affiliates and referrals. So, if you were to refer a friend or something like that, you get a percentage of how much they donate, and you also get, like... I don't know if you guys remember on old RS3, they had an RAF, and if you were playing at the same time as your friend or something like that, I think you got like an experience boost, or I think something like that would be pretty cool, that there are so few abilities unlocked. Resonance Barricade, yeah, I mean, I've seen all the suggestions for Res and all the other ones. Um, you found some bosses too easy, well, you're going to find them much more easy with fucking Resonance. Like a community feedback voice chance. Yeah, I I don't think I can physically do those anymore. Many advantages people can get from donating and not being able to get close without paying. But I know it's so we need to make money, also having to wait weeks or even months and in the worst case to sell anything, mostly on G. 
we've made improvements to this. Um, obviously, I know that there's still a big old wall, um, but we're doing our best without just making profit uh, non-existent. Expensive prices. I mean, I don't just I don't determine that. The high schools are being looked into. Grand exchange system, but more so the death system. Not enough of events. Should be fixed now. Um, everyone burnt out. Most disappointing part for me is seeing large stretches of the world abandoned and unutilized. I understand it's the nature of a private server that only so many resources are available and there can only be really a few areas that it can be focused on, but I think it would be nice to have teleports to some of these places. Any of the large cities, towns. If only we had lodestones or something to teleport to them. Perhaps even some random path in Mauritania could be a special end. Well, look, I, I understand where you're coming from. Um, but why? So, if we were to... Well, why and how is my main question. Uh, Ardi... What do you do in Ardi on any um, RuneScape variation? You can thieve in the square, you can go buy a butler, or you do a clue scroll in the fucking Ardi Zoo. Maybe you're doing a biohazard or registered or whatever, underground pass or whatever. Um, Varric. Varric's a cool one. Um, there's lots of stuff to do in Varric. But is there? No. It's quests and it's banks and there's an anvil. That's it. Like these these places in theory would be great to have people out, but but why and like what purpose would it have? Like yes, we're not utilizing large stretches of it, but there's no need if we can include those areas uh, in one um, because there's very few things in all these locations that actually bear any use. And I'd much rather have it all centralized. Um, but if you have any other ideas, please be sure to let me know. I, I like this idea, um, making these areas actually useful in holiday or community events. Um, there is Halloween coming up, so maybe you or Tanya will play something in that. I think making golf players who don't wish to PVM. Yes, I've, I've been looking into this myself, um, and I'm hoping that within the next update we can improve this. The slow or lack of managing how toxic. Yeah, no one's once again. No one's reported anyone in a year. So report them, and they'll be fucking dealt with. The most disappointing thing is that the player base never seems to get to a level that the server deserves. Fucking oath. I understand that we don't have unlimited funding, but more reinvesting donations would do wonders. Okay, let me let me be completely uh, transparent here. I don't profit from Adaractio anymore. Um, I'm currently losing money every week. Uh, I have minimal savings, and pretty much everything from Anorexia goes into um, armor. And if there is anything left, um, I take that, and ordinarily that amount is only enough to cover my food and rent. So yeah, um, welcome to my world. Uh, I wish I could do this, but I can simply not afford it. Right now, anyway. Uh, hopefully, with Christmas coming out, we'll get some more players, and I can actually not be in poverty. Wish some things would be complete example. Yeah, I mean, that, that would just come over time. Once again, drop rates, yep. Nerf of skilling contracts, I used to love doing them. but it, Well, that's why I, I added that event. Um, I think skilling contracts were extremely overpowered, and if you didn't do them, you were an idiot back in the day. And personally, um, from making Iron Man back then, I absolutely hated that. I didn't want to do a skill and feel like I was wasting experience um, doing that. You could still do skilling contracts and you get good item rewards, which I think is the main benefit of them at the moment, um, and you can get bonus experience. But other than the event giving you actual experience, I don't think we will ever return them to giving actual, actual experience because they were way too overpowered. Not enough players. Drop rates, money making. When I have to log out, that's cute. Any content that you could MB? Oh, Jesus. Any content released recently that you could? 
that we could have improved on. So like whack, I don't know how to do it, so it's a skill issue. True. I mean second most it's not like you see I've only come across one thing when you get a broad in. I have no idea of the mechanics. Um, if this is a bug, report it. Um, I also think that Solak drop rates are good. Surge could use a rework, yes, I've seen the endless bug reports and suggestions. I find the event tokens are a little OP and it loses that height when they are activated every blue moon. Nothing really drastic though. Huh? It's a bit contradictory. Um, I find the event tokens are a little OP and it loses that height when they are activated every blue moon. I'm not really sure what you mean, to be honest. Drop rates. Uh, not gonna happen. Um, I find everything to be well from a standpoint as I'm coming back after a wipe. But I do hope to see combat improved and not only one combat skill be the best overall. Uh, which combat skill would this be? I think that all combat skills have different uses of different bosses. I think that was our goal with PVM. Um, yes, I do think that magic uh, has a little bit more of a benefit, but um, I think other combat skills are useful than other bosses. Uh, you're just probably doing one single type of boss that requires one single type of combat style. Kind of really. Uh, if this was directed at Solak, I don't think so. Um, but skilling contracts on Iron Man maybe something to improve that you don't need to turn in items or something. You don't need to turn in the items. What are you talking about? The last couple of updates are geared for experienced RS3 players. So it's a player who quit in 2009 had no idea what most of them were for. Revamps guides, yep, we're working on this and an exp explanation. I do my best to explain them in the update thread, but I'm obviously in a similar boat, so I'm not too sure. PFF secondary should be doubled. Currently not enough people to do it. See, the thing is, we double it, it becomes a norm, player base goes in up, and then there's way too many. Uh, rack should change drop rate and bring in more of the items. I think that's fair. I haven't seen many director drops at all. Skip the contracts, change them for the new content that's out. Maybe add some reward mod modifiers to slow contracts and add new rewards. Like if you add a BGH contract, with that reward modifier you could add a point system that isn't tied to tickets since they were nerfed anyway. Make it so achievements requires points instead of contracts. This is interesting. I'm going to copy paste this and read it a bit later. New skill perks are amazing, but we'd love to see more. More perks? Oh gosh. Additional perks are great to have, as long as... What should it be then? Um. As this is partially my fault for not having time to help test, so I'm moreover ensuring adding barricade. I think, like, <laughs> people are complaining about content that is too easy, people are complaining about content that is too hard, uh, people want to be able to solo content, people want to be able to um, only do content in groups. This is never going to be resolved because people have different opinions on how uh, the game should be. Um, I sh personally think that Solak should always be a group boss unless you are very elite and you can complete a solo which I think one or two people have uh, right now but if you um, think that adding these will actually benefit the server as a whole oh sorry barricade residents, I, I just don't think they would um, residents maybe but I think if the wider op like opinion of the community is that these things will make things easier, that will just make all of the other content except stuff like so, like where it's still difficult or Raksha just be piss easy and then where's the fun in the rest of the content while you're having a great time doing so like 
Yep, these are coming. Some updates are small. Too small. Okay, well, look. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Could be useful to inform the player of just how much of an increase they get when extending a challenge for fixed way. Perhaps clicking to extend text give a text bomb, which it's always double. Um, so when you extend it, it's always double. Always. Um, I think the experience is doubled as well, as well as the keys you receive. That could be interesting. Um, perhaps adding an examine text for all lamps, showing how much experience they'd give um, per level, or that kind of thing. More places to obtain higher level seeds, that's pretty good. Uh, would like some quality of life fixes for search, yeah. Also, I would like to not be able to get you stuff and pets from Sarg, rather. Interesting. Okay. How long has this video gone for so far? 41 minutes. Fantastic. Jesus Christ. What do you think about the current update schedule? Uh, I'm going to blitz through this. Um, could be more frequent when not releasing major content. I agree. I wanted to do a small update um, a couple days ago, uh, but I ran into some issues. There's usually enough in the updates keep busy until the next update. That's good. That's the goal. Improve it, you lazy dog, weekly hox visits, ninja updates or whatever. No idea to be honest. Funny how people talk when it's anonymous. Um, no idea to be honest. I'm going to make this guy just win so I have to know who he is. Um, not 100% sure what it is, but it seems to be once a week. It's not once a week. See new updates. Updates come out just fine. So if it takes longer, yep. Um, I obviously um, read this section uh, before. Um, I've read it all before, but I'm kind of like just skimmed over it. Um, but from what I can tell, it's basically like the updates are good. Um, yes, they take some time, but as long as they come out well. Um, yeah, so monthly batches of updates just were right. I feel like having that amount of time. Mod novelty if updates were every week it may lead to negative sentiment when one update is relatively weak. Yeah, so the overall thing is like they like the updates, but maybe push some hot fixes for broken content quicker. Uh, slow but consistent. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I like to be. Slow but consistent. Oh god, I forgot about all these. Do you think donors receive enough or too many benefits? No. Thank you for your opinion. Too many, way too many. I'm a master at master rank is fucking catered and pampered to the next dimension. Yes, it is a thousand dollar rank. Of course it is pampered into the next dimension. Not enough. For some aspects of the game, i.e. shops at donor zone, seems enough. Oh god, it seems rather 50-50 here. I think it's in a good spot. I agree. You get donor status from playing the game, so people shouldn't cry about it. I think it's good. Honestly, the donors have received a decent amount of benefits. Honestly, they seem pretty fair. The only benefit I've read of the questions is the bank command. I wasn't in support of it then, and I'm still not in support of it. I use it, however, I wouldn't be against removing it. I think the bank command is just a quality of life thing. I don't think it really impacts too much content. Um, I obviously love using it on my hardcore, but overall, I think it's not that bad. Um, donors get enough. Let's not make this pay to win. Too late. Um, way too many from perks to donor shop. Skilly knows there is literally pay to win in that sense. Worst vendor is probably game mode changer. Just lol. Okay. Dime used to be peak rank for most benefits, but you have to keep the open somehow. Uh, more than enough. As a retired master, not enough. It's hit or miss. When pet perks were huge, it really made the game play. Game pay to win in my eyes, but that's the. Uh, one thing that can ruin community big time, you don't really like a huge amount of customs personally, but to each their own. I think there are enough donor benefits. There's room for more perks when the time comes. I think there's enough perks. Um, I saw someone suggesting a perk. Um, 
and this perk only related to one specific item. Um, and it was like auto. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but it was like auto charging it or something like that. Um, it was just, just preposterous. Enough, enough, enough. Gold member, and I have no inclination to donate anymore as the benefits don't seem. Right. Okay, well, I don't think you've read the benefits. For how much IRL money do you have to spend? I'd say it's either enough or not enough. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Perks are great, but the donor zone needs major reworking to me to really provide benefits. The donor zone should have offer a training gathering method, so just leaps and bounds better, and it's okay as is. I mean, I still state that leaps and bounds better. It's just pure okay. Um, I put it oh gosh. Well, obviously I've read uh, most of these, skimmed them. Um, my answer to this, I think right now we have a decent amount. Um, if you're Diamond Master, yes, you have a lot of benefits, um, especially Masters. Uh, but I don't think it's that bad. Um, most of our benefits fall under the category of quality of life more than just pure benefit. Um, I don't think there's any benefits that are just like, holy shit, that's a must-have. Um, maybe other than bank command. Um, but I think donors are at a pretty good spot right now. Uh, I'm hoping that we've made it easier to get to those high ranks, because in the past you just had to kind of exclusively buy spins. Um, is Adorax going to pay to win? No. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I'll say my opinion. I'd say it is, um, but I think every RSPS is. Um, and if it's not, they're missing out. Uh, uh, if yes, what specifics? Uh, yes, perk. Perks, benefits for tier stacking shops. Yeah. Donate for damage and drop boost. I mean, you can vote for the same boost, so it is what it is. Dollars will get you nothing. PPM is the best way. Not at all. Nope, not at all. If it's pay to win, you wouldn't receive all the suggestions to buff certain things. Some aspects may be, I agree with this, some aspects are pay to win, but I don't think the pay to win aspect really impacts the game, it's more just quality of life. Double resources and such perks are retarded, do I really need to say this? The rest I'm not really sure about, to care about, but... It's private servers... Pet perks will never return. They're stupid. Yeah, I, I think this is this is pretty much bang on. To a degree, a lot of it seems like pay to convenience, but it's hard. I want to, uh, to play. Yeah, okay. It's pay to convenience, but it's hard to want to play without that convenience, and I, I completely agree with that. Um, there's a couple of perks that are must-haves, and that's kind of why I've. Um, try to look into making it easier to achieve those early level early level perks um, with just playing the game. Pay to skip. A lot of progress can be skipped due to teleports or experience increases or resources being run next to a bank. Adorexia is not a competition with other players, so there's no winning. It's more pay to skip. Do all content and break until you get new content to do, rinse and repeat. Some people, very few, may see their levels as competition. Cool. I do not feel that Adorexia is pay to win in order to fit that criteria for me. I feel that there needs to be a guarantee receiving an immediate reward with no time invested. I mean, you can obviously pay to win, you can sell dollars and then just buy the best gear. But it would cost you a lot, and I think most of the enjoyment from Adoraxia comes from actually playing and achieving yourself. Uh, I'm not going to name names, but you guys know him, you can pay to win if there's a player. Yeah, I mean, this is P-Dog. Um, he is the definition of pay to win. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much every opinion here is yes, um, it's pay to win, but they're mostly aspects that don't really impact how you play the game. Um, they're just convenience uh, and 
yeah, you do it because it makes it a little bit more enjoyable or quicker. Um, let me just pause this. Okay, so for these last two, qu three questions, uh, what can be improved in the early game, mid game, and late game? Um, I'm not going to go over them, it will take way too long, uh, but I will read them. Overall, this took much longer than I anticipated it would. Um, I think we're at yeah, 50 minutes right now. Um, the most important things to me were these two questions. Um, this question, this question, and this question. I already know the answer to donated ones and pay to win ones. Um, I frankly do not care. We're going to add benefits and we're going to add perks or anything that we see fit. Um, the difference being that years ago um, I would add things purely to make some money, whereas now there's a little bit more thought that goes into it uh, without just immediately wanting to destroy the economy. Um, for example, uh, pet perks were the worst decision we could have ever added, but it was just a pure money grab. Um, whereas now I am losing money and the game is much better. So it's a uh, bit of a 50-50 that we have to cop. Anyhow, the amount of people that put 69 and 420 in their numbers is unbelievable. Um, but I hope that you kept your number handy because why names feel nice to meet you. Cool. I'm gonna go random number picker. Um, I think name is the right one. Sure. How many winners did I say that was gonna be? Hang on. Okay, so three winners. I'll put all of them in here. Um, I'll take that out because that's two entries. Let's see if there's any others. Fuki just put his name in. Respect. Alright, so three winners. Um, I'll write down the winners and put them in the description as well. 7219. 7219 is one of them. Remove that and roll it again. Four nine one nine nine five. And sixty nine, four twenty, four twenty, sixty nine. <laughs> so if you have any of those numbers, please contact me. I will put them in the description. Um geez, this has been quite a long uh, video. I really wanted to kind of go all over this, um, but this isn't really, like I wanted to go over the answers with you guys, uh, but this isn't for you, really. This is for me. Um, this is for me to read, me to contemplate, and me to kind of drag some ideas um, from what you guys think, and this is kind of just an unfiltered opinion from the player based on how we're going. Um, so, yes, it's been a 50 minute video, and I'm sure that a lot of people are just going to watch this for the giveaway at the end, um, but I just wanted to go over some of my thoughts on some of the content and stuff like that. Um, so, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed, and be sure to message me if you are 7219, 7219, 491995, or 69420-4029. Um, also, if you are new to Adaraxia, be sure to use the YouTube um, referral uh, and put in Adaraxia or Jadmo or Chode um, to receive an, a free T70 set, um, which has a value of $10.